back here. Because that edge makes me nervous. Assembled guests, welcome to the H. Rick Lures Performing Arts Center at Shippensburg University and to Shippensburg Area Senior High School's 2024 Commencement Ceremony. At this time, please be seated as commencement exercises will now begin with the processional. Please join in welcoming members of the graduating class of 2024.
Good evening. Welcome, class of 2024. Family and friends, my name is Brayden Osanich, and I'm the class president. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand, if you're able. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. You may be seated. Am I good to go? Okay. <sighs> so here we are. We are the class of 2024 and we graduate tonight. We are the class that started high school during the worldwide pandemic. As a lot of my classmates, we all remember where we were when we heard that we were going on a longer spring break. I remember when I was standing in the middle school lobby when my soccer coach got a phone call saying that we would be going online for the next two weeks with optional work. I remember being so excited to go home and do nothing but play Fortnite and relax. <laughs> Soon we got another phone call telling us the entire school year would go online. In a matter of just two weeks, our lives have changed completely. Th that summer, we had no idea what was going to happen and what next year was gonna be like. Starting high school is supposed to be a unique experience that is filled with excitement and curiosity. We all started out the first day as high school freshmen behind a screen on Zoom at home. Months later, the decision to come back to school in person with masks on was made. When we finally came back, it felt like a whole different world had opened up. Soon, ninth grade was over, and that summer flew by, and we are, were suddenly sophomores. All mass, as mass finally started to be, become optional, it felt weird coming to school uh, without having one on. We faced some challenges, but we pushed through two more years, and here we are, about to graduate. I remember when the first day of freshman year started and all the soccer seniors told me that time would fly by so fast that you would never even know what happened. I did not believe them in the slightest. I felt like those four years were gonna be horrible and long. But every time I blinked, we were at a new milestone. At the start of my senior year, I thought maybe it would slow down, but boy, was I wrong. <laughs> I, feel, I feel the reasons why things moved along faster than everyone expected was, was because we were surrounded by people that we trusted and cared about. I've made tons of friends over the years, and some of those friends I expect will be for life. I think it's important to say thank you to the people that got us to this point. Thank you to our parents, family members, and loved ones who supported us along the way with your care and presence. Thank you to our teachers, especially the ones that helped us get through the pandemic and back on our feet. One of my first classes that was in person was Mr. Ship's Family Consumer Science class. He has helped us all throughout our high school career and will go down in history here at Shippensburg Area High School as one of the best. We should also thank guidance counselors and support persons in this high school who facilitated our learning and supported us in goals that we set for ourselves. Thank you to our administrators and school board who made sure that we had a school system and environment that supported learning and growth. Finally, thank you for letting me be your class president. I really enjoyed every minute of it. I know that we are really busy right now, planning for the next step. I feel like life is coming at us really quickly now, but tonight is about us, the class of 2024. Let's reflect and celebrate. We should remember to take the time and enjoy this once in a lifetime experience. It is a huge milestone for all of us. So to end, it out, to end out my speech, I wanted to close out with a quote I thought was very fitting. In the great words of Ferris Bueller, <laughs> life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Let's stop and look around. Congratulations, class of 2024. Thank you. At this time, we will hear our classmates, Zach Barber and Aubrey Gigliotti sing, I sing because I'm happy and the Little Creek. These students are directed by Ms. Stibler.
waters wind their way through me. Ooh. When we preach the hill, we'll follow it down. Cross the rough and rocky ground. Get a little bit lost and a little bit found. It evens out when we hear that sound. Why aren't we so scared to search our centers? It may seem so, but every door you enter, you find a piece of something inside you.
to search your center. Let those seeds grow. Cause every door you enter, you find a piece of something inside you never knew. Thank you, Zach, Aubrey, and Ms. Eibler. Now, please welcome to the podium our Superintendent of Schools, Mr. August. Good evening to the attending members of the Shippensburg Area School District Board of School Directors, parents, family members, friends of the class of 2024, and most importantly, to the Shippensburg Area School District Class of 2024 graduates, and welcome to this joyous commencement ceremony. It is my honor to serve as superintendent at Shippensburg and a definite privilege to share some thoughts about and for the amazing class of 2024, a class made up of students who have collectively received over $2 million in scholarships, including numerous full rides to their institutions. The class of 2024 is filled with amazing artists, musicians, technicians, actors, scholars, and athletes, including some of the most dominant powder puff players our school has ever seen. We are so proud of you and your achievements, and we are grateful that you have made the Greyhound name shine. As you take the next steps out into the wider world, I have just a few brief thought thoughts to share with you that may be of use on your journey beyond high school. As author Frank Oteski has noted, the quality of your life is really gonna come down to just two questions. Am I loved and did I love well? Right now, the answer to that first question is a resounding yes, am I right? <laughs> you are literally surrounded by your families, teachers, administrators, and friends who are bursting with love for you at this moment. And while at times over the years it may have been an imperfect love or one that you may not have fully understood, it was this love that helped you earn your seat on this stage today. Maybe it took the form of someone helping you at the kitchen table with math homework you didn't understand, and quite frankly, maybe they didn't understand either. Maybe it was working long hours to provide for you. Perhaps it was driving you to your sports and activities and only yelling a little bit when you forgot your cleats back at the house for the 10th time. It could be the teacher, counselor, nurse, or aide who gave you the extra help or grace when you needed it or lent a listening ear at just the right time. I would bet it wouldn't take you too long to think of hundreds of other examples of how loved you truly are. I suggest that you take time to notice how loved you are in some, 
I would suggest that taking time to notice how loved we are is something we can all get better at. And it's kind of a game changer in terms of our own happiness. So maybe work on being a good noticer. It's likely, it's likely you'll get a chance to practice noticing a lot of examples today. Maybe it's the hug that someone awkwardly holds a little bit too long. Maybe it's the look in someone's eye as you walk across the stage with your diploma in hand. Be gentle with them because you know what they are trying to say to you today, that you are loved for certain. The second question, did I love well, is a little more complicated and it's entwined with the first and tougher to answer. It requires something from us. This question demands that we put someone else's happiness ahead of our own. And as humans, we're sometimes not really wired to do that. It's something we have to work at on a daily basis. In fact, your journey to this moment has in some ways been about growing from a child who sits at the center of the world to a young adult, skilled and prepared to contribute to the needs of the world in your own unique way. Again, answering this question comes back to noticing. Seeing what others need in the moment and giving it to them. Being the type of friend, sibling, husband, wife, or coworker you would want in your life. Being the type of person who is likely sitting out in the audience or on this stage who did those things for you in your life. Am I loved is a question you can check in and answer right now. Did I love is a question you may need a lifetime to answer. In closing, know that we are incredibly proud of you and all that you've accomplished. Your future is bright, and because of this, all of our futures are bright. You are, we are turning the future over to some great young men and women who are certainly ready for what will come next. Thank you and congratulations. Good evening, class of 2024, parents and guests. I would like to take a moment to recognize the young men and women who have committed to the armed forces. In your program, you will see a flag designation next to the names of those individuals who will be starting their next chapter by serving our country. Students, please stand and remain standing to be recognized when I call your name. Chloe May Gilbert, United States Army. Evan Michael Scott Groth, United States Navy. Sarah Hansberger, United States Air Force. Owen Mark Leaking Coma, United States Army. Francis Sheila, Sheila Isabel Tambis, United States Air Force. And Derek Wagner, United States Marine Corps. Thank you for your future service to protect our country. speaker this evening is Rhiannon Mitchell. She is the daughter of Melissa Mitchell. While at Sashish, she was a member of the Art Honor Society, Guitar Club, Coffee House, <clears throat> and she was the secretary of the Art Honor Society. Next year, she, she will be taking a gap year to focus on her plans to become an author and film editor while working and volunteering with the elderly. They say blood is thicker than water. It's an old phrase that everybody knows. It means that the families we're born into are more important than the families we choose. But you know that, we all do. What I bet you don't know is that is not the full phrase. It's actually the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb, which means something completely different. It says that our chosen families, our friends, should be more important to us. We should value our friendships more than the relationships we're born into. 
They mean more because we chose them, and some of them are lifelong. Some are forever, and some are for a short while, but every relationship we choose leaves an impact on our lives. We spend eight hours a day, five days a week, 180 days a year for 13 years with each other, and tonight is the last night most of us will see each other. Some of us, though we're great friends, won't see each other again. That being said, some of us are more stuck together than peanut butter on the roof of your mouth. I remember in first grade, I had to move from Nancy Grayson to James Bird. Though it wasn't a big move, I didn't have any friends and I didn't know what I was doing. My dad took me to meet the teacher and to look around the school before the other kids got there. I didn't know these kids like I knew the kids in the, my old school. I was scared I wouldn't make any friends. But as I left the classroom, one kid noticed me and she took a mental note of who I was. My first day in the class, I had barely walked through the door, door when this curly haired little girl ran up to me. She grabbed me by my shoulders, shook me, and practically yelled in my face, we're friends now. It wasn't a question. I don't think she said hello, and she definitely did not tell me her name. All she did was, very violently, tell me that we were friends. That little girl is still my best friend to this day. And if she hadn't run up to me, I don't know where I'd be. I don't know who I'd be. I could stand up here for hours and give you all so many examples of my fellow graduates who have impacted my life. We'd be here for an eternity though, and I am limited to three minutes. So instead, I'll just say that if I had to go back and do it all over again, I would not change a single thing. I would meet the same people and do the same things. I would smile every smile I had before, and I would cry every tear I did before, because it was all worth it. I am so proud of how far we've all come as a graduating class, and if no one else says this to you, or if you don't have anyone in the audience for you, my fellow graduates, let me just say I am proud of you. You all deserve to be told. <laughs> you all deserve to be told that you've done an amazing job. You deserve someone to be proud of you. So many times it would have just been easier to give up or leave, but you didn't. You stuck around, and I'm proud of you, of all of you, of us for being here. I am proud of the work I have personally seen you put into your passions and I am proud of you for being here tonight. Most importantly, I am proud and so thankful for the impact you've had on my life. Please remember to smile, and as long as whatever you do makes you happy and doesn't hurt yourself or anyone else, go for it. You deserve it. We can't all be millionaires, rock stars, actors, or living our fairy tale dream lives, but at the very least, Shippensburg, I hope you're happy. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your memories of the class of 2024 with us. Next, I would like to introduce our second speaker for this evening, Haven Almer. Haven is the daughter of Jackie and Andy Almer. Over the past four years, Haven has been a member of the Drama Club, National Honor Society, Key Club, Minithon, Coffee House, Swim Team, Sharps, and Environmental Club. She was also the co-founder of the Minithon, and she's the secretary of the class of 2024. Next year, Haven will attend Duquesne University, and study health science with the goal of becoming a physician's assistant. Good evening. For the past four years, I have been nothing but honored to represent the class of 2024 as its secretary. As an officer, I was asked by Mrs. Luffy and the class, uh, the baccalaureate service organizer, how I would describe my class. Without a doubt in my mind, I said that we are driven and that we are supportive. In order for me to explain to you how this is true, I have to take you back about four years. Of course, every one of the past four graduating classes has dealt with the hardships that came from the COVID shutdown. But I believe we specifically have been nothing but resilient when it comes to life after the pandemic. We started high school at home on our computers, and it wasn't until about halfway through our sophomore year that things went back to normal. We missed our first year of football games, high school clubs, high school dances, and so many other special moments. But we took those challenges head on and made the best of our high school years. Despite missing a crucial year of our high school career, members of the class of 2024 have been responsible for the creation and success of clubs such as Minithon and Women's Empowerment Club. Clubs at this school are ways in which we, as a student body, can connect and feel a sense of community. And these are phenomenal examples of clubs that show the kindness and inclusivity of our class. 
We not only value resilience and inclusivity, but we value each other. I may sound like an optimist, but I truly believe everyone on stage tonight cares greatly for each other. We all have different interests, but at the end of the day, we try our best to support and build each other up. We have some amazingly talented athletes who attend musicals and concerts to cheer on the band and theater members. And we have some amazing musicians who join the student section during every sports season. No matter what our individual interests are, we understand how to appreciate each other and are sure to communicate that. This proves that the value of the education we've received here at SHIP stretches beyond the books and into the friendships we've made and the experiences that have shaped us. I am beyond grateful to have been able to work with my peers and the amazing staff here at SASHES. I would like to thank the administration for giving us a voice, allowing us to participate in so many different programs and letting us create clubs that are accessible to everyone. Thank you to the supportive parents and the other family members who have sat through countless concerts, sports games, musicals, and plays. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to make the memories that we have made. We would not be, uh, sorry, to the teachers who have been through just as much as we have during the pandemic and its aftermath. Thank you for your continued love and support. We would not be the people we are today without you. And finally, to my classmates, I encourage you all to continue being the incredibly driven and supportive people that you are, even in the face of adversity and uncertainty. After watching it grow and develop over the past four years, I have the confidence that the class of 2024's kindness, resilience, and generosity will to continue to do good long into our futures. Thank you. Thank you, Haven, for your inspiring message to all of us. At this time, I would like to introduce the class of 2024 salutatorian Delaney Reinhardt. She earned a QPA of 4.38219. She is the daughter of Deanna and Dan Reinhardt, and while at Sashes, she was a member of the Key Club, Orchestra, and Spanish Honor Society. She was the Vice President of the National Honor Society, Vice President of the Math Honor Society, and Secretary of the Coffee House. Next year, Delaney will be attending Shippensburg University to study elementary education. Congratulations. Class of 2024 is valedictorian is Parab Natalia. <laughs> he earned a QPA of 4.39355. Yes. He is the son of Ashish and Hina Natalia, and over the past four years, he has served as secretary of the National Honor Society and Secretary of the Spanish Honor Society. He was a member of the Movie Club, Environmental Club, Quiz Bowl, and Math Honor Society. He volunteers also at the Shippensburg Produce Outreach called SPO. Next year, he will be studying computer science at the Schreier's Honors College at Pennsylvania State University at University Park. Congratulations. That's quite a QPA. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> the class of 2024 has represented Shippensburg Area Senior High School well academically. 80 students in the class of 2024 have earned a 3.75 or higher over the past four years. Please stand at this time if you have earned an honor medal for your academic success. The class of 2024 have been wonderful Greyhound ambassadors outside of the classroom by breaking school records in softball with hits and strikeouts, having district and state appearances in baseball, softball, swimming, diving, and track athletics, earning conference awards for sportsmanship, earning regional awards in music, and wowing the audiences in shows such as Christmas Carol and Mamma Mia. Class of 2024, you have done it all and done it all well. 
At this time, it is with great Greyhound pride that I recommend for graduation the class of 2024 to Mrs. Steph Eberly and the rest of the school board directors for completing all of their graduation requirements according to the school board policy for graduation. So now with the power invested in me as the president of the Shippensburg Area School District Board of Education, I now proclaim you graduates of the Shippensburg Area Senior High School. You may now come forward and receive your diplomas. Nishal Adakari. Eddie Benjamin Alcantara. Jordan Rose Astles. Emerson Lee Aviles. Jose Alberto Aviles de Dos. Jamal Taishan Bailey. Kelsey Marie Bailey. Zachary Logan Barber. Arbin Baruwal. Riley Nicole Beam. Savannah Nevea Beck. Kimberlyn Brianna Beeler. Tristan Nicole Vital. Christian Anthony Belts. Anna Marie Bender. Sophia Grace Burt. Kayla Maria Binninger. Nora Kathleen Brown. Liam Robert Brenneyes. Caden Lee Brink. Michaela Janae Rose Brown. Cole Allen Butler. Morgan Jean Caldwell. Landon John Carbaugh. Alexia Melanie Carr. Taylor Carr. Cody Jacob Chella. Drew Parker Chamberlain. Emma Marie Chamberlain. Troy Matthew Chamberlain. Liam Kane Christie. Woo! 
Sean Michael Cleary. Blake Allen Coldsmith. Destiny Desiree Coldsmith. Lanaya Amani Coleman. Meredith Kate Collette. Xander Matthew Collins. Sarah Rose Cook. Camden Michael Cooper. Savannah Marie Correa. Julia Costi. Garrett Matthew Corson. Jamarcus Maurice Cox Brown. Lillian Nicole Coy. Sarah Elizabeth Kramer. Pearson Ferdinand Crawley. Isaac Jacob Crumlick. Prahad Dahal. Drew Benjamin Davis. Grace Lillian Davis. Olivia Jane Davis. Menor de la Cruz Ruiz. Sierra Dawn Dennis. Makai Isaiah Dudney. <laughs> Muna Ducal. Elizabeth Marie Dick. Madeline Inga Dietrich Cochran. Gabrielle Rayanne Disney. Ajane Marie Dixon. Joseph Carter Dyson. Haley Leanne Eckenrode. Devin Michael Elsesser. Sebastian Allen Emlett. Connor Carl Erickson. Corey Eugene Erler. Hayden William Fager. Sterling Elizabeth Feeney. Anthony James Ferguson.
Stephen Paul Fogelsanger. Mason Andrew Fogelsanger. Connor Thomas Ford. Joseph Michael Frengel. Ava Grace Frontino. James David Gamble. Logan Ryan Gamble. Arian Ajit Gankar. Audrey Virginia Gigliotti. Delaney Aaron Gilbert. Chloe May Gilbert. Jalen Marie Jingle. John Malin Gleason. Landon Ryan Gordon. Kylie Renee Greenland. Evan Michael Scott Grothy. Micah LaRue Groover. Anmal Gurung. Srijana Gurung. Smriti Gurung. Haley Marie Gutschall. Brianna Christine Geyer. Lane Arden Hafer. Alana Lee Haynes. Brianna Michelle Hall. Sarah Kate Hansberger. Kane J. Hansel. Joel David Heberlig. Ireland Mackenzie Hepfer. Nathaniel Herman. Caitlin Grace Hicks. Alicia Marie Hines. Grace Mariah Hippel. Wyatt Henry Hockenberry. Devondre Thomas Hockersmith. Logan Michael Holtry. William David Hubbard.
Jasmine Michelle Huggins. Dominic Jerome Johnson. Myla Raylin Johnson. Gunnar Robert Jones. Stephen John Jones. Victoria Lynn Kalp. Lily Ann Kell. Amariana Marie Kelly. Jesse Ray Kelso. Elizabeth Melody Kenyon. Abrielle Lee Kimple. Balian Damar King. Caitlin Elizabeth Kipe. Kayla Morgan Kirby. Katie May Kissinger. Wyatt Benjamin Nepper. Mackenzie Nicole Kovacs. Joshua Xavier Kral. Trevor Garrett Kurtz. Leanne Nancy LaMonica. Dylan Andrew Laney. Olivia Grace Levitz. Owen Lincoln Como. Luke Lehman. Lucia Lorente. Lydia Jean Lyman. Skylar Allen Lynch. Micah Leroy Lyons. Kendall Alexis Mechanic. Emma Grace Martin. Caden Ray Martin. Reed Michael Martin. Tony Michael McDermott. Alicia Lee McManus. Amelia Alexandra McSparron. Yadriel Alexis Medina Feroa.
Caleb Adam Malat. Jacqueline Elizabeth Mendezabal. Richard Allen Menton. Caroline Noelia Morejo Brujan. Sara Minkuzzi. Austin Elliott Minnick. Rhiannon Brooke Mitchell. Raquel Moreno. Amara Demetra Morris. Riley Joe Mullen. Parab Natalia. Kaylee Janelle Noggle. Braxton Ray Neal. Donald Francis Norai III. Charles James Auker. <laughs> Erica Marie Auker. <laughs> Iris Giuliani Okendo. <laughs> Brayden Leo Sonich. Bryce Landon Patillo. <laughs> Jacob Lee Pensinger. <laughs> Jasmine Podolinski. <laughs> Ganesh Pradhan. Patricia Pradhan. <laughs> Anila May Preston. <laughs> Alexander Zeno Raider. <laughs> Jordan Christopher Raider. Oliver Henderson Rahman. <laughs> Kylie Ann Martin Ramsey. <laughs> Alexander Lee Ratliff. <laughs> Jacob Michael Robber. Jasmine Elaine Reed. Harley Alyssa Rendler. Delaney Madeline Reinhardt. Paul Alexander Rice. Peyton Lee Richardson. Marissa Ann Rickard. Damon Joshua Riggins.
Michael Garrett Ryder. Harper Elaine Riley. Caden Roderick. Xavier Rodriguez Perasuerta. Davian Shaquin Diamond Rolden. Brianna Margarita Jean Romero Beckett. Kelly Luann Rosenberry. Brian Nicole Rotz. Miles Emmanuel Rowe. Braylon Elena Rudisell. Devin Samuels. John David Sanchez. Reese Andrew Sanders. Vanessa Renee Shulka. Marambi Nakasi Sankato. Abigail Kaylin Shaw. Madison Elizabeth Shively. Dakota William Shoemaker. Taylor Sky Shoemaker. Elizabeth Faye Shope. Hayden Dean Shope. <laughs> Catherine Lorraine Shope. <laughs> Alexandra Evelyn Schubert. <laughs> Rebecca Aaron Schubert. <laughs> Taryn Elizabeth Sistrunk. Alexander David Smeltz. Katara Lynn Smith. Treslin Nicole Staggs. Aubrey Lynn Stake. Sebastian Daytona Statler. James Herman Staver. Carson James Stevenson. Ashton Hunter Stein. Landon Avery Stein. Ryan Christopher Stein. Landon Everett Stightley. Jessa Shea Stoops. Evan Reese Reese Stauffer. Landon Michael Stauffer. Tristan Phillips Stauffer.
Jackson Robert Stout. Joseph Edward Zurchak. Matthew Roger Swartz. Selena Tamang. Francis Sheila Isabel Tambus. Jayla Nicole Thomas. Logan Christopher Tricka. <laughs> Alyssa Catherine Turn. <laughs> Haven Celeste Ulmer. <laughs> Nathan Philip Wattis. Mackenzie Elizabeth Wade. Parva Wagley. Derek Connor Wagner. Lincoln Reed Walker. Josephina Dare Walls. Ava Grace Weaver. Caden Michael Wiest. Everson Lee Weller. Christian Andrew Wenner. Cody James Wenner. Landon Michael White. Peyton Elizabeth White. Tyler Marlon Wickard. Lyric Avery Williams. Trinity Joe Wilson. Owen Riley Wise. Trevor William Wolf. Riley Jacob Wolford. Alexandria Nicole Yo. Cambry Ann Yanish. Carter George Zimmerman. Haley Breland Zimmerman. <laughs> Ivan Fisher Zook. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lily Kell, and I am the class treasurer of 2024. Mrs. Luffy, on behalf of the class of 2024, we proudly accept our diplomas from Shippensburg Area Senior High School. The class of 2024 is happy to announce our class gift is a mural for the students 
to observe the legacy of the class of 2024. Thank you. Thank you, Lily, and the class of 2024. I accept the gracious gift to Shippensburg Area Senior High School. As students and guests visit our building, they will see the mural and be reminded of the class of 2024 and all of your wonderful accomplishments. Thank you for your generosity. Would the class of 2024 please stand at this time? As now graduates of Shippensburg Area Senior High School, please move your tassels from the right to the left of your mortarboard, signifying transition from Shippensburg High School students to alumni. At this time, I invite everyone to stand for the playing of Shippensburg Area Senior High School alma mater. Please be seated and remain seated for the class of 2024 recessional. We thank you for joining us this evening. To make exiting easier, we ask that the graduates meet their families and friends outside instead of in the lobby here at the Lower Center. Again, guests, please remain seated for the recessional for the class of 2024. At this time, and for the last time, the class of 2024, the recessional. Yeah. 